You know, and I think through that, um, and I have been thinking since we've been talking about me jumping on this podcast, which you're right, you've been twisting my arm to, to come on. And, uh, you know, from a professional standpoint, when I came into the industry in 2012, our inst- the credit union was small, they were growing, but they didn't have any real like infrastructure for growth in the mortgage world. And I mean, it was everyday failure. So I got really callous to failure real early because we didn't have a training program. We were just like, you know, I walked in and they handed me a sheet of paperwork and said, Hey Mitch, uh, you got to figure out how to get all these loans bought by our investors. And I'm like, this is my second day. I've met, like I've refinanced, I've purchased homes, whatever, but I don't know anything about it. I said, here's a phone, start making phone calls. I mean, I had wow. title companies and asked them questions and they're going, that's not for us. I'm going, oh, do you know who it's for? Because I don't. So, I mean, it was that humbling in the very beginning, <laughs> you know? So we, it sounds weird, but we almost thrived in failure by making some of those mistakes we learned. I'll never forget some of them. Uh, but to come up with maybe one or two, oh, it's, it's tough because this industry is ever changing. You make a mistake and you got to own it. And you got to rip the bandaid off and either fix it or flag it down and shut it off. And it's, it's tough. Um, but that's in that super same interesting. sense, I think really. If I can cut what, you off real quick, I think that's really interesting that they threw that to you. And a lot of people I feel like would just be like, maybe this position isn't for me, but I love that you just jumped in and you're like, I'm going to call people. I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> uh, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was, it was wild. I mean, and it was at a time in 2012 where we, we saw rates in the threes and we're going, wow, you know, this is, this is the lowest it's ever been. This is wild. And we got lenders over here who are, you know, overwhelmed with calls and new loans. And, you know, they brought on three staff members at once and we're just, I mean, trying to figure it out. And that I think goes back to coming out of that family business, you know, there's no excuses. You grind, you figure it out. Um, and and that's, that's just where we were. We were like, all right, cool. This is my new job, figure it out. And I'll tell you, it bettered me as a lender. Coming and cleaning up a mess of, you know, things that were missed or just sim- even simple documents that just weren't obtained. I mean, it forced me into uh, looking at the process more efficiently as I step more and more into that role and more and more into lending, it was like, man, I don't want anybody else to have to do this. So I'm going to sharpen myself through this process and get better um, and really just pushed hard to do that. Um, and it wasn't always easy. There were some times where I was like, nah, you're right. This is, I'm, I'm about ready to call it. Like it's, it's getting close, but you know, I think it took us about a month, month and a half. And we finally finished getting all that stuff cleaned up all of it gone and there was nothing left and it was just like wow and that's about the time it clicked for me the the knowledge base the industry it all just kind of clicked and it just from that point on we just we really started rolling figuring out you know the processes and uh i don't i think had i given up or had i had someone to kind of do half of the work or do most of the work i probably wouldn't have grown like i am and so while it wasn't my failure or my mistakes that we cleaned up, learning from those really, really pushed me into a direction that, and uh, I really attribute a lot of my success to that. So, yeah. um, and it's really my team too. I mean, it's not my success. It's our success as a team. And, but they've all fought through those battles, but luckily now they have a partnership, right? You know, you talk about mentorship um, a lot podcast and that is such a powerful thing because the team comes in and we have a new employee um, fresh fresh never been in the industry they've got some of the am I, I'm a little biased but they have some of the sharpest people in the industry in this building who have been through the trenches and it saves them a lot of heartache and a lot of heartburn when they can come in and go man I got a problem like great there's three people here who can help you solve it and the way that we're going to help you solve it is we're going to ask you to try and solve it first. We want you to give it a go. And if it doesn't work, that's when we'll jump in and we'll get that knocked out. Um, so 
yeah, that that was a that was a fundamental part of of me in this industry was, hey, here's a whole bunch of junk, figure it out, and that's, kind of, I mean, looking back, that's kind of funny to to really think about that we walked in and just kind of did it with a smile on our face, yeah. not knowing that. It was kind of a mess, but and difficult. But we, and if I'm like thinking about or thinking through this, it's almost like it goes beyond if someone are like, "Hey, here's a here's a bike. Like, uh, we're not going to put training wheels on it. Just like figure it out." You know, it's almost like they give you a unicycle without training wheels. And I was like, "Good luck." Yeah, no doubt. 